Hello everyone, Eric Dance Crazy here, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Symphony. In the previous episode, we went through the forest here. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to try to pronounce it, but yeah, we went through the forest there. Um, oh, people of Mizuho. Oh, okay, that's understandable. Yeah, so, it's the whole... That stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but anyways, in the forest, we... It was a maze-like. We didn't get to explore all of it. I hope I can go back there and explore the rest of it, but... Yeah, I went to the forest, um... And we met that blue-haired guy again, and we fought him one and uh, he's knocked out and I guess we're carrying him now and more of these weird boxer plant things I want to go home okay yeah, yeah just wanted to see if there were any you know, also just XP and stuff but also to see if there were new enemies around here I think those gold beetles and, um, these mantis guys I don't know they might be new they seem like maybe reskins or you know pallets to the other um, the other mantis enemies because I've definitely seen these mantis guys before. Uh, might as well. Yeah. Okay. That was a decent amount. And boom, boom, boom. Okay, just one more. These guys? Yeah. I was just warming up. And per se leveled up. Nice. Still wanna see what yeah, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like you know magic paper. Yeah, it's secret. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sure. Anyways, uh, okay, I think that's it. Nice little skit there, but okay, time to go to Mizuho. Yeah, this area seems a lot more oriental. Sheena, what is the meaning of this? How could you bring outsiders into the village? Hey, we're cool. We're cool people. It's fine. I am prepared to accept my punishment. Inform the vice chief. I've brought the travelers from Silverant. From Silverant? You are from the dying world of Silverant? Uh, yeah. Well, except for me. Yeah, except for me. I'm not dying. I see. Yeah. Sheena, come with me. The rest of you, wait in front of the chief's house. Okay, man, whatever you say. Yeah, okay, it was this guy. Let's see. Yeah, you're here with us. wonder what they'll do with you. Oh, he's awake. And just who are you exactly? Where am I? You're our prisoner. And don't try anything funny. I like to think that I'm smart enough not to start trouble when I don't understand the situation. Yeah, but you never know. Okay, let's walk around here. <laughs> yeah. Carrying a sword there. Katana, maybe. Wooden houses with the sliding doors. There's sliding doors in general, it's... <laughs> yeah, way more japanese ear in this town than in the, uh, the Meltikyo. What are you cooking there? Yeah. He's a, just a little reckless though, just a little bit.
Yeah, I guess you're right. It's about, it's about, you know, how much dedication and energy you spend on something. <laughs> eh. It's... a lot of people do that. Jizo. I don't. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. It's a lot more, like I said, you know, like oriental than, or just Jap more Japanese-esque, or just more Japanese-like than the other towns and cities I've been to in this game. Uh, I don't know if I've, I've never really used you guys, the exploration team. Hey, I mean, she's she's trying. She's doing what she can. Okay, don't don't blame her for everything. Are you out for customization? Shiden. Oh. Oh, you have a shuriken weapon. Mm, interesting. Assault dagger. It's easy to use. Uh, I don't... Pointed hats are still off with that. I might want to get... I can get the Kotetsu. If... Wait, do I have any... Do I have that weapon? Osa thing? No, I don't. So I, I guess I can't get it, but... I don't know if I did have that. Let's see what's here. Okay, I could just... Or I could just buy it. And you know what? I'm probably gonna do that, honestly. Card of Water... Wind. I don't know if it's worth getting these because I don't know if we're gonna get these later on in the game. You know, I don't want to buy all of that stuff. Um, okay, water spider. Water elemental damage. What is this Manji seal? Accuracy, interesting. The only thing I really want to get, I guess, is the... Yeah, just the spell card. Or the Shiden. I'll get the Shiden. I don't know when I'll be able to buy new stuff, so... I don't know if it's worth it, but... Well... Yeah. I have it now. Okay, just that, so... Yes, give me my money. Yoshina? Oh, Yoshina's not in the party anymore, so... I'll have to see what that spell card thing does later on. It appears to be just, yeah, okay, it's green, so maybe it's like one of the... an, an item you can apply attributes to or elements to or something. Like a template. Or a base or something like that. Hmm. Of aging. Wait, what? Oh, dang it. Skip past the last part. Yeah. The vice chief is ready to see you. And voice acted bit. Travelers from Silverant, you may enter. Taiga. Thank you. Our leader, Chief Igaguri, is ill. I, the Vice Chief Taiga, shall speak on his behalf. Because Sheena failed to kill you, we, the people of Mizuho, now face persecution from the Tetheala royal family and the Church of Martel. Is that true? Yes, at least from what I've heard. Now I have a question. People of Silverant, what do you plan to do in Tetheala, the land of your enemies? I've been thinking about that for a long time. Someone asked me why I came all the way to Tetheala, what it is that I want to do. I want a world where everyone can have a normal life. Yeah, we're not enemies. I'm tired of people having to become sacrifices. 
I'm tired of discrimination. I'm tired of people becoming victims. I'm tired of it all. You are an idealist. The worlds of Tetheala and Silveron flourish only by victimizing the other. So long as that structure remains the same, anything you say is mere sophistry. Then we need to change that structure. This world was made by that Yggdrasil guy, right? If a human or elf built this, then we should be able to change it as well. <laughs> you speak like the hero, Mythos. Hmm. Interesting. He was a sublime idealist. He ended the ancient war by insisting there was a way for the two warring countries to coexist in peace. Are you saying you can become the next Mythos? I don't know, maybe. I'm not Mythos. But I am Lloyd Irving, and apparently those... Or that specific guy, I forgot his name. The angel guy wanted me, so... I don't know, maybe I'm... I'm probably important in one way or another. I want to save the two worlds my way, with the help of my friends. Yes. I see. In other words, you aren't worried about following past methods. Well then, we shall search for a new path as well. Vice Chief, do you mean... Yes, we will use our information network to aid you. In return, nice. when the path of prosperity for both worlds has been found, we wish to move our people to Silverant. Hmm, mm, well... See how the people of Silverant feel about that, but I mean, at that point, we'll save both of the worlds, so. But I don't have any right to decide something like that. Yeah. All we need is for you to aid us in our move. Okay. See what is we can do about okay that. Is okay with us joining forces with the people of Mizuho? If it will change the relationship of the two worlds. Well, it doesn't sound like a bad deal. Yeah. Let's hurry up and decide so we can go rescue Persea. As long as Tetheala is safe, I don't care what you guys do. <laughs> Typical. Okay then, it's settled. We're going to look for a way to change the two worlds. Yes. Let's work together. Agreed. Then I hereby order Sheena to continue to accompany you. Yes, more party members. This time, however, not just as an observer, but as a representative. Make us proud. Yes, sir. Well, compared, I feel like your eyes, compared to Sheena's, just not not just your eyes, but your whole entire face in general is just a lot more pixelated. But that's you know, I'm I know I'm nitpicking a little, but eh. But Tyga, you sure you want to turn the royals and the church against you like that? How about if I ask you? Given a choice between the forces which wish to sacrifice one of the worlds and the force that wishes to preserve both worlds, which would you side with? Yeah. I'd like to say the one that's likely to win, but I suppose I'd want to help the side that wants to preserve both worlds. Yeah. Exactly. Now the first thing we shall do is devote all our resources to locating the Riards. Fortunately, it appears that Sheena attached a guardian to the Riards, so we should be able to locate them shortly. Understood. Thank you for your help. Okay, nice. Well, now we're working with Mizuho, people. Is he for real? Gentle Idealist. Hmm, I wonder what that does. Nice, a little What's friendly friendly negotiation. And yeah, who are you? Regal. Regal. Regal, huh? I'm sorry. But we're gonna have to keep you prisoner for a bit longer. Lloyd, how about letting Pops here fight too? Well, yes, I was thinking, are you gonna join our party too? But, I mean, do you really trust this guy? Even though he might betray us? He has business with Persea, right? And he's not gonna try anything before he gets a chance to speak with her, you know? Actually, that's not a bad idea. I don't know. Rain? I don't know about this, but I won't make a fuss. I also started off as your enemy. Well, will you fight alongside us for now? All right. I swear upon my good name and these shackles that bind me, I shall not betray you. If you do anything, even the slightest bit suspicious, I'll burn you to a crisp. Got it? Well then, welcome to our group, Regal. All right, Regal, join the party. 
that's even more party members. That's that's cool. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. Keep used to just pressing A and the status showing up and I have to go like, yeah, there we go. Where you go? You don't have anything. Mm, interesting. Convict. This weight condemns him. Ugh. Deep. Symbolic. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Okay, TP, defense, and int. Eh, I'll j I, I like sticking with HP and um, strength and defense. So the the stuff I have right now. So yeah, I'll just stick with that for now. Then I want to check these just in case I missed any. Yeah, chosen. That's. Oh, you, you still only have a single title, Sheena. Hmm. Convict. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm good with that. Okay, anything else we can do in here? Alright. Information network. Yeah, the Ray Arts. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Maybe. You just gotta put your mind to it. Yes, power. Okay, I don't know about that. Zealous. Yeah. Maybe not that zealous, but yeah. oh, what's this? Oh, I'm glad I went in here and checked this because it's, it's Chef Guy. Ramen, heck yeah, I love ramen. Now I can finally ramen. Seaweed. I don't think I have any of those. Maybe seaweed or something, but. I don't really keep track of what ingredients I have. But yeah, I wonder... We also, I don't think I mentioned it, but I also figured out that... This determines who will make the dish after battle. Or just when you're gonna cook it right here. But it just determines who makes it, and I guess depending on the dish, the person makes it better or something? I, I think that's what this means, so if you go to like this... Well, for say, I think she only has one star for all of them, but go to someone like, yeah, Rain also, you know, she just cooking, I don't know. But if you go to Sheena, for example, and yeah, she has different ratings for different foods. Okay, yeah, I do have enough to make one, but I'll just stick to fried rice because I, I like fried rice. I like the, um, the boosts it give. Maybe when I get more stuff, I'll switch to ramen. But, okay, that seems to be it. Bummer, they don't seem to have an in here. So, yeah. Small night. <sighs> what are you going to do, little man? I see. <laughs> oh, well, that is true. She is pretty tough. You're really tough. Okay, yeah. I was hoping I could rest up here, but. Yeah. Yeah, okay then, who's that? Yeah, 
Uh, we should probably head there. Okay. Oh no. This exploration. Okay, let me save my game first and foremost. Um, yeah, I still can't do anything here, so yeah, okay, now we can... Oh, an enemy. We must be merciless. No way. Oh, heck, I, I like this. I like how my sword has electricity on it. I, I assume it does probably like lightning damage or something. Okay? Even zaps the enemy, that's nice. Though, I probably should have kept my other sword because if it does do lightning damage, that must mean that there are probably enemies that are resistant to lightning damage. But nonetheless, it still looks really cool. I really like this sword. Okay, Sorcerer Ring. Okay, yeah, this is... This leads out here to the other side of the map, but... I don't know, hopefully I can... Can I go back in the forest? Yes, I can. Okay, yeah, I still wanna... I missed some items. I missed a few items, so... I wanna try to get them. Or see if I can get them. I don't know, maybe I need to come back here a little later on in the game, but... I'll see, I'll see. Reasons for shackles. Well, I mean, makes sense. <laughs> okay, that would. Okay, that would be a little too fitting. No, I don't think that's what he means by symbol, but. Yeah, okay. Lloyd. I don't want to fight these guys, I just want to look around. And... Okay, I can't do anything about this, so that sucks. Alright, Witcher's Robe, nice. I should probably check that out. Probably is um, an item for... Yeah, okay, I'm, I don't think. Um, yeah, I don't think she's going to be able to use it. Okay, Witcher's Robe. Decreases evasion, but increases defense a little. 20 evasion? I don't know if that's good. I don't know if that's a good trade-off. Um, I'm not sure. Angel bracelet. Uh, okay, yeah, probably is an arm thing. Decreases luck a bit, but increases defense by one. Or, uh, increase, yeah, increases defense by one. Is that worth it? I don't know if the stat decrease... I don't know if that's even worth it, honestly. I mean, and again, I don't know how much of marginal difference in stats helps you in this game. I don't know. Yeah, how substantial it is, but eh, I'll keep it for now. I might sell it. Okay, pretty ribbon. Um, okay. Decreases int, but increases defense. Int. I don't know what int actually determines. I don't know if it determines your, like, your skills in general, not just magical stuff, but, you know, physical stuff as well. I don't know. Because, um, Perseus got rather high intelligence. Well, actually, maybe I should compare that to everyone else's. Intelligence 90. Okay, maybe it isn't as high as I thought it was, but... Yeah, I, it, I feel like it would go good on her, because... I mean, she doesn't use intelligence, I think. I don't know. 
of the stats, but I don't think she does. She's more of a because she's more of a tanker. Cute ribbon. Because I put on that pretty ribbon on her, is that why that scene activated? Or is it just that that would have would that have happened regardless, just over time or something? Because if each character, if you give it to a different character, you get a different scene depending on who you have it equipped on. That would be interesting. And in an enemy. Oh, genius is pretty low. And um, also, I don't know if it's just because um of the weapon I'm using, because it's more powerful, maybe I'm, I don't know, and the shock sound effect that this weapon makes is pretty satisfying, but I'm, I'm using Hunting Beast a lot more, and I, I like it, it's a good skill. And it might just, and again, I don't know if it's just because uh, I, know, I just haven't really tried using it as much before, because, I don't know, it feels better than I thought it was before we're using my other weapon, but it's a good weapon, or it's a good skill, I mean, I, so I might use it a bit more. I like it. Also, yes, you need it. Still, I still want to get healing, man. That's a really good ability. Definitely could use that. Oh, I missed the, I missed the treasure chest here. I almost did, it was kind of obscured by the, by the plant there. Huh. Uh, I came back here and just... I think I got most of the chests. I just want to do a quick little run around. I don't think... I don't know if there's a way I can open that black chest. I don't know if there's... I haven't seen any, uh... Any... Like... Switches or... Anything that would hint to me allowing... Allowing me to open that chest, so... Oh yeah. The chest up here. I can go up here. I want to get this really quick. Phoenix Rod. What is that? Yeah, I assume it's a weapon for rain. Okay. Phoenix feathers, that's a nice upgrade. Glad I went up here because like rain needs a needs a good new rod. Okay, I think I think I'm basically I think that's pretty much it, I think. Except for the black chest. Did I make it back? Okay, yeah, here I am. Um Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go over here straight to the next area. I'm definitely gonna save my game because I don't wanna do that again. 